Hi lovelies, welcome back to the second segment of my Skincare 101 series. Today I'm going to be talking about the second step in the double cleanse method, which is water-based cleansers. What do they do, when to use them, the different types of water cleansers, and which type suits which skin type best. If it's your first time joining me today, hi, my name is Jessica. I do videos on skincare and K-beauty to help you find the best products for your skincare routine. And I also like to bring you along my journey learning Korean and more. In my first Skincare 101 video, we talked about the first step in the double cleansing method, which is oil cleansers. Double cleansing is an important part of the Korean skincare routine and is basically just really good practice to use as the oil breaks down all of the makeup, sunscreen and sebum on your face that water cleansers just can't do, but it prepares your skin for the next step, which is the water cleansing. Water cleansers are really important because they remove the remainder of the impurities on your face, dirt, sweat, and get deeper into your pores to remove the excess sebum, which is really important for people who have oily skin like me or are very acne prone. Cleansing is a really important step as the skin is the largest organ on our body and it's there to protect us from all outside harm. Of course the skin on our face tends to be more reactive and sensitive than other areas on the body. As it's the part of the body that gets seen the most, it tends to be something that we all want to take care of to make sure that it's healthy, strong and just looking its best. So what are the different types of cleansers? The first type of cleanser is a gel cleanser, which is pretty much what it says. They tend to have a clear gel type texture and are really good at getting deep inside the pores and clearing them out. These are applied directly on wet skin and then you rub them in to create a foam. Gel cleansers tend to get really deep inside the pores, they're really good for deep cleaning and they tend to have antibacterial ingredients in them such as tea tree. So the next type of cleansers are foam cleansers. These type of cleansers usually come in a bottle as a liquid. When you pump them out they turn out to be a lightweight foam that can be easily and gently rubbed into the skin. Foam cleansers also work really well for getting deep inside the pores and giving it a good clean. The final type of cleansers are milk slash cream cleansers. They tend to have a thick milky or creamy texture and are far less stripping on the skin compared to gel and foam cleansers. Sometimes all oils are also included in the formula for extra hydration so with milk or cream cleansers you just apply it gently onto the face or you can gently wash it off with water or wipe it off. So which type of cleanser is best for you? If you have oily skin I would definitely recommend using a gel cleanser they tend to get really deep inside the pores to remove the excess sebum also they tend to have ingredients which are aimed towards people with oily skin such as tea tree oil or charcoal. So if you're someone who has oily combination skin then a really good cleanser to use for you would be the foam cleansers they also work really well at giving the skin a really deep cleanse although for some people foam cleansers can be a little bit stripping for oily and combination skin it tends to work really well. So if you're someone that has dry or sensitive skin I would definitely say that milky cleansers are the way to go they tend to be less stripping on the skin and the formulas sometimes include oils to put moisture back inside the skin. So one form of cleansing that I haven't mentioned yet is cleansing simply using water. So the main ingredient in all three of these different types of cleansers is water. Once you finish doing the first step of the double cleansing method, you simply can follow up with water, especially if you're someone who has super sensitive skin or super dry skin. One important thing to know is when you are cleansing your face with any oil-based cleanser that you do wash off, just to make sure that the temperature of the water is lukewarm. If the water is too cold, then the products won't be able to effectively go into your pores and cleanse them. However, on the opposite side, if the water is too warm, then you're risking damaging the natural moisture barrier of your skin due to the high temperature. So if you're watching this video, then you're probably already a fan of Korean and Japanese skincare products. However, if you're new to it or you're just getting started, then I would definitely suggest giving them a go. Their cleansers tend to be formulated slightly differently than the cleansers we're used to growing up with here so they tend to be less stripping more moisturizing and definitely more balanced for the pH of your face so if you're worried about the double cleansing method and it being too stripping for your skin I would definitely one make a note of which cleanser I've mentioned that would work best for your skin type two if you feel like maybe your normal Neutrogena cleanser that you're using is too stripping then definitely take a look at K-Beauty or J-Beauty skincare products I personally at the moment I'm using my Bior charcoal cleanser which works super well for me like I said I have oily skin it's a gel cleanser cleanser and it has an active ingredient in it which is charcoal so really it works all around for my skin so there's definitely a cleanser out there that's going to work for your skin. At the end of the day the most important thing to do is just to listen to your body. If something feels too harsh, too stripping or too irritating on your skin then just take a step back, reassess and see if that product is meant for your skin. If it doesn't work for you then that's okay, skincare is not one size fits all. Just because something works for my skin and we have a similar skin type doesn't mean it will work for your skin. These are just my recommendations but definitely make sure that you're listening 
listening to what your skin is telling you and giving it what it needs at the time that it needs it. We all know that temperature changes can sometimes affect how your skin is feeling. The temperature has just dropped now for me in London and my skin is definitely starting to react differently and I need to switch up some of the products that I'm using because they're no longer going to be effective and giving my skin what it needs. So the main important thing is listen to your body, listen to your skin. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and picked up a thing or two about water cleansing. The next Skincare 101 series video is going to be on exfoliating. So we have two types, physical and chemical, and let you guys know all there is to know about exfoliating. So if you want to see that video and more content from me like this, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, if you've enjoyed this video and it's added some value to you, please hit that like button. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.